As a web developer, I am generally asked by new clients if their website will be set up on Joomla or WordPress. And my answer is always, it depends. And I continue to learn more about what their needs are so I can decide what will work best for them for what they're trying to accomplish. Typically, WordPress is used more as a blogging platform and Joomla is used more for static and corporate websites because of how easily expandable it is, both in terms of design and functionality. Joomla is actually from a Swahili word, which means all together or as a whole, and this greatly describes Joomla in a nutshell. And as I'm about to show you, Joomla is used across a variety of sites as we take a look at some example sites, you may notice the design complexity compared to some WordPress sites out there, but you also notice some simple designs as well. Joomla is very diverse and it offers a lot of flexibility and freedom when it comes to design. It's used by over 30 million websites. So let's take a look at some really popular websites out there that use Joomla. Let's start with IHOP, the International House of Pancakes. They use Joomla and they have a, a very complex menu. You'll notice this isn't really a standard menu. It has images, uh, it drops down, it has a close button here, and each menu does something a little different. Clicking on gift cards takes you to that link. Locations, the drop down actually shows you a location and allows you to enter your location to find one. Clicking on contact us, it gives you some locations that may be close to you or you can contact them by email. So as you can see, it's very complex. Another one is Porsche. Now look at this simple design. This is very simple, but this is very common of Joomla websites as well. Here you'll notice that the home page is actually different than the interior pages. So let's take a look at that. You'll see once you go in, now the home page looks different than the, these interior pages, and the interior pages have a lot more, a lot of functionality going on. Uh, people can compare cars here. Uh, they can see a lot of images. They have a little slideshow going on down here, slideshow at the top, uh, search forms up here, as well as a really nicely designed menu. So this is a very simple looking website, but yet very complex. Harvard University is another one. You'll actually notice that they have multiple menus. This is obviously an educational site. Um, and you'll notice on the home page here, they have several different type of modules, which are these boxes here, all set up. And they have different features going on. So there's a lot going on on the home page, and this is something that Joomla is really good at accomplishing. For an educational site like Harvard, who has a lot of content or a lot of deep content, Joomla is very good at organizing and helping to display all of that content. Another one we'll look at is the Guggenheim Museum. Uh, they actually have a, a complex menu as well. You can see it displays images. You'll see when a user rolls over a menu, images change on here. They actually have a community forum on this website and they also have a lot of deep-rooted content as well. So it is very well organized and displayed within the content. Uh, two more sites we'll look at. One is Britain's version of the Holiday Inn. Uh, a lot of the Holiday Inn websites within Britain do use Joomla and you'll see that they can do lots of things here uh, from searching other hotels. Uh, they can have a slideshow. They are allowing users to, to search for dates when they can actually stay. So again, there's a lot going on. And the last one we'll take a look at here is Leonardo DiCaprio's site. He has a very unique design, as you'll see. You'll see he has a little pop out here with some rollovers uh, where people can connect uh, with social media. So this has a very complex design. Clicking on links will bring up a pop up of what's going on on his site. So there's a, a awful lot and Joomla is a very, very good content management system to use for sites that are this complex. 
So as you can see, Joomla extensions, and extensions we'll talk a little bit more about, but that's typically what gives Joomla its functionality from an online store, a directory, a certain design feature, etc. It tends to have a much wider variety, and it's not just geared towards blog type websites like many WordPress plugins tend to be. Joomla can actually be used to create smaller, simpler business sites. In fact, that's done all the time. And it's a good place to start if you want to have a small site and you can picture having your site grow and you can add functionality to it in the future. So despite its complexity, you can set up a business website with absolutely no coding. And that's what we're going to tackle in this course. You'll also find that as you add functionality to your site, Joomla has great support and an excellent community and forum that is available to answer questions.